Every month we do a roundup of the previous month's best free iOS and Android games and we're really excited to bring you October 2015's. Number 10, Seven Nights is a hero collecting online RPG with over 200 unique characters, turn-based or automated combat, evolution systems, and player versus player. The developer Netmarble calls it a social RPG. It's a pretty good description. More importantly, it's a lot of fun and it's very pretty. It's easy to pick up, tough to master, and continually progresses. It's a lot of fun, especially for people who really like turn-based old-school JRPG battles. Number nine, Exosaga is not really that different in concept to Seven Nights. However, in execution, it does play out rather different. For one, while it does employ a similar turn-based battle system, it does have a little bit more of a distinctly western or even comic book-like feel to me, at least. That being said, it's still a load of fun. Hero collecting turn-based JRPGs that you can play with your friends as well as random people online is a great genre to play, and frankly both these games are definitely worth your time. You may find you like one or both, but I definitely have to recommend trying them both, at least. Number 8. FRZ Racing is a really fun little RC car game that reminds me a lot of old NES racing games. Truthfully, it was really neat to see something like this actually crop up in one of these lists because I used to love these types of games. And on top of that, it's pretty and it's well executed and it brings in some concepts that Mario Kart actually brought over the years. Really just a great game. Try it out. I definitely recommend it. It's free. These are all free. Why not? Number 7. Subterfuge is a fantastically executed strategy game designed from a very, very social perspective. Basically, you're competing for a fictional resource and whoever mines 200 units of it is the winner. The game can go on and on and on. You could literally play a single game for a week or more. You can play it for 5 minutes or you can spend your entire day plotting the next move. It really, it's very flexible and it's incredibly fun. Now it's a very in-depth game, so let me just say you have to be very cunning and you have to be playing a long game strategy. It's RTS, it's social, it's great and it's free. Number six, Pac-Man Bounce is an incredibly easy to explain game. In fact, I don't even have to really say anything. You already know exactly how it plays. And knowing that you already know exactly what a Pac-Man game is, that's pretty impressive. You point arrows to put him through a variety of puzzle situations involving which direction he's facing. And I don't know how or why, but this is actually one of the most refreshing Pac-Man games I've played in a very long time. Have to recommend it download it. Number 5, Shooty Skies comes to you directly from the same people who made Crossy Road and it is as addictive. Now it is an endless shooter, a bullet hell game, which is very different from Crossy Road which kind of takes the Frogger approach and refines it. This does the same thing though and it's incredibly fun. The graphics are so enjoyable. They're beyond cute and nostalgic and really just very good at the same time. They've really gotten this style down to a science. But the game plays as good as it looks. It's so much fun. It's a time waster, but it is one of the best time wasters. Worth your time, get on the App Store or Google Play and download it. Number 4. Walking Dead No Man's Land plays a lot like XCOM, except for with zombies and in the Walking Dead universe. You build a squad and you go out and squad. I mean, there is an absolute ton of zombie games and there's an absolute ton of XCOM impersonators, and I'd be remiss if I didn't just simply acknowledge that, but I have to say that this is definitely one of the best. You will waste so much time with this game, I can't even, I can't. I don't know how to describe it. Just play it, I'm sure you will fall in love with it. Number three, Dash Quest. Again, huge time waster, you're going to love it. If you can imagine an endless runner combined with Legend of Zelda combined with, I don't know, those weird driving games where zombies try to attack you your fan. You know what I'm talking about, right? This is pretty much all those things in one. Except for no zombies, they're just, you have all the great RPG elements where you level up your character, you get new attacks, use items, just it's, and really it's probably one of the more innovative ideas I've seen because I love all of these game concepts, except most games like this on mobile platforms aren't just something I can pick up and play for short periods of time and then let go. This game gets it. Speaking of Endless Runners, number two is this incredibly quirky and fun title called Quick Boy. 
Okay, so it's in a dystopian future with zombies, and I know that doesn't really sound original, and it probably isn't, but just ignore that for a second. You play as Quick Boy, Delivery Boy, for a futuristic mail service in a post-apocalyptic world. This game takes everything that people do right in Endless Runners and makes one fast-paced game out of it. Anybody who really liked Sonic Runners for its care to bring a more detailed platform experience into the Endless Runner, you're going to like this game. Probably a little bit more, because it's just a hair more competent than Sonic Runners. And number one is Soda Dungeon, which is just a ridiculous game. It's silly beyond silly, but it's also really great. It's turn-based battles that are going to remind you so much of old-school Final Fantasy, although a little bit more on the light side. The idea is you're an adventurer, but you're not good at it, so you need to enlist the help of people at the local Soda Tavern who have some skill in dungeon crawling. The problem is the tavern is kind of shoddy, and if it were a little bit better, you could probably attract better people. So you go crawl dungeons, get loot, upgrade the tavern, get better dungeon crawlers, and crawl dungeons better. It sounds like a loop, and it is, but it is so fun. Old school JRPG fans, this is your new jam. Have you played any of these games? First off, if you haven't, they're free, so go ahead and play them. Second off, if you have... Leave us a comment and tell us which one your favorite is. Also, don't forget to click the like button. It helps us more than you can possibly imagine. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do it because we upload brand new videos every single day of the week and the best way to see them is a subscription. As always, we thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you next time here on Game Ranks.